So I am going to try to keep this one short and sweet. I have a brand new camera, first video on it. So let's hope this even turns out. I am back in Little Birds by Odessa Begay. You know we've been working on this page for a while. I finally decided what I want to do here, so I came back to it. Um, I think last time we did the gray and just made everything pop from the white placemat background, which I'm still leaving. I have pulled some supplies here. I'm going to show you. I'm still with Crayola. There's lilac and there's royal purple. There's orange. The orange is just for that little beak. That's it. Done with orange. The purples, I'm going to use the light purple. Come in here. And I'm going to do all of the wing. Now this technique is really good for when you're doing small areas like this. And then I'm going to do right down to there, and then leave it. I'm going to do here, and I'm going to leave a little bit of white right here, right here, and under here. So then, and I cannot push the book up any further, there's a window right there. But it's how I'm able to get what I like to call a better picture for you. Let me know if you notice any difference in this video versus the others. Um, Fern, I know you always respond, so I'll, I'll just kind of watch for that reply. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get that little bird all done. That was with the lilac. Now I'm going to come back with royal purple, and I'm going to do the back wing. And I'm going to get this sharper. So, let's, there we go. Now I can get all the way up in there. I'm going to get right under the edge here on the tail. And then just fade it out. See how that pops that wing forward in front of the tail? Now I want this wing popped in front of the rest of the body. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Go right around there and then just kind of fade this out. Same thing here. And then just kind of fade that out. Put a little bit here. All right, now it looks like that wing is on top of the rest of the body. All right, I did the same thing over here on the little one and on the little one over here. Then I decided I was going to take a glitter gel pen. This one's by Smooth. They did send them to me and I do like them. They seem to work really well. So what I'm going to do now is there are little V's in his wing or her wing, the bird's wing. So I'm just kind of hitting at those V's. And again, when you're doing tiny details, if you get out of the lines, it really doesn't show so much. All right, then I'm going to grab this color. I don't even know what it is. It's from Crafty Croc. I've got all the centers of all these little flowers. Now can you see how I'm not real concerned with getting the actual dots that are drawn there? Again, it's a way to make it easier on yourself. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit all these. If I go off camera, I am sorry. I am just hitting at the little dots. Now this next thing is all those little outside pieces. All right, I decided to go with the blue. It's a blue, I checked it on a scratch sheet somewhere, and it's fairly close to what I used on the plate. Here, I tried it on here. See, it's just that little bit there. 
So what I'm thinking is, because it's glitter, it's going to lend itself here and probably look pretty good as if it was just an accent going around the outside of the plate. Now, you're not going to be able to see there, so let me go ahead and move up here. Now, this is also a lesson in staying out of what you've already colored because all these little dots are wet, okay? So what I'm gonna do is put my hand here and lean over the dots in the bird and do this bit. It is a little awkward because of the way I'm leaning with my hand, but if you take it nice and slow, you'll be able to have control over what you're doing and you'll be able to stay out of anything that's wet. Now this is a little darker than I had wanted, but I think when it's all done, it's gonna look like little accents on the plate. So anytime you're adding the last minute accents and stuff on a page, take your time. You really don't wanna wreck the page at the last minute because you got a little anxious or you were in a hurry. So if it's time to take kids to school, fix dinner, anything like that, just put it to the side and wait. There's, there's no use in being in a hurry and accidentally messing it up. Okay, so just get in there. And again, this is a good spot for gel pens because they can get in between all these little bitty areas. But I am going to do that all the way around. And I can also move on up here. There's nothing wet up here. So I could get all these in up here while I'm waiting for things down below to dry. So just take it in stages. A lot of times I will do gel pen in the evening last thing on a page before I put it down for the night. And then I make myself put it down and walk away. That way when I come back the next morning, I know it's dry. I know it's okay. No, I haven't really ever um, smeared with gel pen real big. And I think it's because I have been so very careful now watch, this will be the time I do. I hope not. But um, I'm not good at walking away. I ha teach a painting class here on Tuesdays, and I'm always pulling out the heat gun because I don't want to wait for it to dry before I go on to the next step. So I'm very impatient when it comes to waiting for something to dry. So... Um, Kay's always telling me, how do you manage to color? Because she knows I use my gel pens. But anyway. So any difference in the camera? It's supposed to be a whole lot better. Um, got a new phone. Yeah, my old one was just starting to get glitchy. And there wasn't any more patches or whatever they're called, to fix different things. So I moved to a Google Pixel 3a LG? No, XL. XL. So it's a Google phone, so we're under no contract. We automatically get updates, Google updates, because it is a Google manufactured phone. We're under, um, like I said, no contract, and it was open box, so it was so much cheaper. Now, for you that don't know open box, because I didn't until my husband brought home a phone that he had bought for himself that was open box, it merely means that somebody bought it, and in the first 14 days, they changed their mind and brought it back. Yeah, that's all it means. So still warranty, all that's still good. But I will tell you that it was cheap enough 
that we opted not to get the warranty because when you get the warranty, that's a hundred dollars, and then your deductible is like a hundred dollars. So after that, that's two hundred. Well, we didn't pay much more for the phone. Yeah, and the camera has all this really cool stuff on it, all kinds of features. So, gotta say, I'm I'm pretty pleased with it. We sat down the other night and started playing with it, and um. There's an app where superheroes will jump into your photos. Now, see, I'm trying not to get into the spoon. So this is where I would just walk away, but I'm not going to. So anyway, you can pull superheroes into the phone, and um, it's got animation stuff in it. It's just really cool. I haven't played with it that much to be really good at any of that. But I think my great nieces and nephews are going to love having their pictures done or, or short films where a superhero jumps in. Yeah, I think it was Marvel? Whatever the Hulk is. Is that DC? Anyway, it was kind of cool. Alright, so that's basically it for this time. I'm just going to finish going around here, but it's off camera. And I've got to turn the book to get over there, so I'm not going to mess with that. So, yeah, my hands are, are nasty looking today. I've been working on painting an end table that's going to be a dog bed for a show. We've cleaned out part of the attic looking for baby blankets I had made. And then um, we've been scouring the outside of the wine bottles that I paint for shows. I have a show next Wednesday with Frito Lay. Okay, what I did on the cruise, I've been saying I was going to show you. So, okay, that was, I did the leaves, but I th think I did that even before we left. The red's been there for a long time. It was a different video. Um, I think you saw this, maybe not. So I'm still working on this one. I have to show you her tail though. Isn't that cool? I love her tail. So, let's see what else. I worked on quite a few different ones. I started this one. I did Hansel and Gretel's clothes, and then I've started working back there on the gingerbread house itself. And I'm in no hurry on any of these. Um, if you see something, you already saw that one, I think. I finished that. Um, but if you see something you want a lesson on, just post down below and let me know. Let's see. Oh. This one was done a long time ago. It's a video, I think. I know there's at least one more. Oh, I got her started. And again, I really like those wings. Tinkerbell. And the current challenge for my coloring book group is the last page of a book. So I think I may be starting this next. And you know, white's not always the easiest, but what I'll do on this is I'll either pick a color to tint it just on the edges and leave the main parts white, or I'll come in with gray like I did on this thimble. See, that's gray and white to make it look silvery. So, anyway, well, that's all I've got to share this time. Sorry this video is a little light in getting out. You know, life happens. I um, subbed yesterday at the Learning Center, and I'm going back to sub again tomorrow. So I'm not real sure how much of anything I'm going to get done this week. But that's life, and, you know... What, what other option is there? You just keep going. So anyway, um, I guess that's it. Yeah, there's no brand name on this one. So this might be, oh goodness, one of the very first companies that, sell, that sent me pens, and I cannot think of the name. Oh, why does it escape me? and I threw the box. If you're part of Coloring Books Keep It Clean, 
It's the company that I used when we first started the group. But anyway, if you're interested in knowing, ask me over there and I'll find some way to look it up. All right, I got nothing else. Uh, the donation button is, and if you're on your computer, I think it's in the top right corner. And if you're on your phone, it should be all the way over. Just keep scrolling over and it says about. Click that and then there's a place to donate. And if you're donating, um, send me a message on what you would like to see me do because that's what that's there for, is for you to get to make your requests known. So that's it for now. I will talk to you again soon. Bye.